friends this is video of mcq of fourier transform dear friend first subscribe my youtube channel pv patil and share to our friends first mcq the fourier transform of function fx is the fourier transform of function fx is mean definition of fourier transform definition of fourier transform is integration limit minus infinity to plus infinity f of u e raised to minus i lambda u du equal to f lambda so answer is option b integration limit minus infinity to plus infinity f of u e raised to minus i lambda u du equal to f lambda second the fourier cosine transform of function fx is again this is definition of fourier cosine transform fourier cosine transform so denoted by fc c for cosine fc fc lambda fc lambda equal to integration limit 0 to infinity f of u cos lambda u du answer is option a fc lambda equal to integration limit 0 to infinity f of u cos lambda u du third one fourier sine transform sine for fs fourier sine transform of function fx is answer is option b fs lambda equal to integration limit 0 to infinity f of u sin lambda u du fourth the inverse fourier cosine transform is inverse fourier cosine transform fourier cosine so fc answer is option b fx equal to 2 upon pi integration limit 0 to infinity fc lambda cos lambda x dx answer is option b fx equal to 2 upon pi integration limit 0 to infinity fc lambda cos lambda x dx 5 inverse fourier sine transform is inverse fourier sine transform answer is option c fx equal to 2 upon pi integration limit 0 to infinity fs lambda sin lambda x d lambda answer is c option fx equal to 2 upon pi integration limit 0 to infinity fs lambda sin lambda x d lambda number six the fourier transform of function fx is capital f lambda the inversion formula is the inversion formula is 1 upon 2 pi integration limit minus infinity to plus infinity f lambda e raised to i lambda x d lambda means answer is option a 1 upon 2 pi integration limit minus infinity to plus infinity f lambda e raised to i lambda x d lambda 7 the complex exponential form of Fourier series is given by fx equal to sigma n varies from minus infinity to plus infinity cn e raised to i n pi x upon l where cn is equal to where cn equal to 1 upon 2 l integration limit minus l to plus l f of u e raised to minus i n pi u upon l du answer is option c 1 upon 2 l integration limit minus l to plus l f of u e raised to minus i n pi u upon l du 8 if f of fx means Fourier transform of function fx is f lambda then Fourier transform of f of x minus a is e raised to i lambda a f lambda answer is option c e raised to minus i lambda a f lambda if Fourier transform of fx is f lambda then Fourier transform of f of x is equal to die dash 1 upon a f of lambda upon a answer is option a 1 upon a f of lambda upon a 10 if Fourier transform of fx equal to f lambda and Fourier transform of function gx is g lambda then by Parseval's identity 1 upon 2 pi integration limit minus infinity to plus infinity f lambda g lambda d lambda is equal to die die dash 
is equal to integration limit minus infinity to plus infinity fx gx dx means answer is option c integration limit minus infinity to plus infinity fx into gx dx 11 if fs lambda means fourier sine transform lambda and fc lambda fourier cosine transform lambda are respectively fourier sine and fourier cosine transform of fx then fc of fx sine x fourier cosine transform of fx sine x is equal to die die dash one half inside the bracket fs lambda plus a minus fx lambda minus a answer is option b one half inside square bracket fs lambda plus a minus fs lambda minus a 12 if fs lambda and fc lambda respectively fourier sine and fourier cosine transform of fx then fc of fx cos ax fc of fx cos x means fourier cosine transform of fx cos ax is one half inside the square bracket fc of lambda plus a plus fc of lambda minus a answer is option c one half inside the bracket fc of lambda plus a plus fc of lambda minus a 13 if fs lambda and fc lambda respectively fourier sine and cosine transform of fx then fs fx cos ax means fourier sine transform of fx cos ax is equal to is equal to die die dash one half fs lambda plus a plus fs lambda minus a answer is option a one half fs lambda plus a plus fs lambda minus a 14 if fs lambda and fc lambda respectively fourier sine and cosine transform of fx then fs means fourier sine transform of fx cos ax is equal to die die dash one half inside the bracket fc lambda plus a minus fc lambda minus a answer is option d one half inside the square bracket fc lambda plus a minus fc lambda minus a 15 fourier sine transform of e raised to minus x is fourier sine transform of e raised to minus x is we know formula fourier sine means fs fs of e raised to minus x is equal to lambda upon lambda square plus a square so fourier sine transform of e raised to minus x is lambda upon lambda square plus one means answer is option c lambda upon lambda square plus one next if fx is equal to e raised to minus phi x x is positive k is positive then fourier sine transform of fs lambda of fx is given by fs lambda fourier sine transform is given by now we know the formula fs of e raised to minus x is equal to lambda upon lambda square plus a square therefore fs of e raised to minus phi x is equal to lambda upon lambda square plus phi square means lambda upon lambda square plus 25 so answer is option a lambda upon 25 plus lambda square 17 fourier cosine transform of e raised to minus ax is fourier cosine transform of e raised to minus ax is means fc of e raised to minus ax is a upon lambda square plus a square answer is option c a upon lambda square plus a square this is formula of fc of e raised to minus x 18 the fourier cosine transform fc lambda of fx equal to e raised to minus x for x is positive is given by we know the formula fc of e raised to minus x is a upon lambda square plus a square therefore fc of e raised to minus x is 1 upon lambda square plus 1 1 upon lambda square plus 1 answer is option d 19 if fx equal to e raised to minus 3x x is positive 
then fourier cosine transform fc lambda of fx is given by we know formula fc of e raised to minus ax is a upon lambda square plus a square here function is e raised to minus 3x so answer is 3 upon lambda square plus 3 square means 3 upon lambda square plus 9 answer is option b 3 upon 9 plus lambda square 20 Fourier cosine transform of fx is equal to 2 e raised to minus 5x plus 5 e raised to minus 2x is Fourier cosine transform of this function is therefore fc of this function fx is equal to fc of 2 e raised to minus 5x plus 5 e raised to minus 2x separate into 2 Fourier transform so 2 constant into fc of e raised to minus 5x plus 5 constant fc of e raised to minus 2x now we know the formula fc of e raised to minus x is a upon lambda square plus a square therefore is equal to 2 and Fourier cosine transform of this function is 5 upon lambda square plus 5 square plus 5 and Fourier cosine transform of e raised to minus 2x is 2 upon lambda square plus 2 square and therefore is equal to 10 upon 5 into 2 10 upon lambda square plus 25 plus 5 into 2 10 upon lambda square plus 4 answer is option a 10 upon lambda square plus 25 plus 10 upon lambda square plus 4 21 if ft is even ft is even function then its Fourier transform f lambda is Fourier transform of even function is real and even number so answer is option b real and even 22 if ft is odd ft is odd function then its Fourier transform f lambda is means Fourier transform of odd function is imaginary and odd answer is option d imaginary and odd 23 finite Fourier cosine transform of fx is given by fc of fn is equal to fc of fn is finite Fourier cosine transform is equal to integration limit 0 to l fx into cos of n pi x upon l dx means answer is option a integration limit 0 to l fx into cos of n pi x upon l dx 24 finite Fourier sine transform of fx is given by fs of fn is equal to dash dash finite Fourier sine transform is equal to integration limit 0 to l fx into sine of n pi x upon l dx answer is option a integration limit 0 to l fx sin n pi x upon l dx 25 Fourier cosine integral is defined as fx equal to dash 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 Fourier cosine integral is defined as fx equal to dash 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 2 upon pi integration limit 0 to infinity again integration limit 0 to infinity f of u cos lambda u cos lambda x du d lambda answer is option d 2 upon pi integration limit 0 to infinity integration limit 0 to infinity f of u cos lambda u cos lambda x du d lambda 26 the Fourier sine transform of function x is Fourier sine transform means fs of x is 0 answer is option a 0 27 kernel of Fourier transform is the kernel of Fourier transform is e raised to minus i lambda t answer is option c e raised to minus i lambda t 28 if f lambda is Fourier transform of fx f lambda in some book the Fourier transform is denoted by f of s instead of lambda sometime here is s if f lambda is Fourier transform of fx then which of the following is true option d is true f of 
x into f x Fourier transform of x into f x equal to minus i into d by d lambda of f lambda. Twenty nine. The convolution of function f x and g x is denoted by f x star g x. The convolution of function f x and g x is denoted by f x star g x, and is defined by f x star g x is equal to integration limit minus infinity to plus infinity f of u g of x minus u du. Answer is option A. Integration limit minus infinity to plus infinity f of u g of x minus u du. Thirty. Which of the following statement is correct? First statement: Fourier transform is linear, and second one: Fourier transform is not linear. Only first statement is true. Means answer is option B. Only first Fourier transform is linear. This statement is true. Thirty-one. If f lambda and g lambda. Are Fourier transform of f x and g x respectively? Then linear property is f of c one f x plus c two g x. f of c one f x plus c two g x is equal to c one into f lambda plus c two into g lambda. Answer is option B. C one into f lambda plus c two into g lambda. Dear friend. subscribe this channel and click on bell icon thank you